alebrijes have descended upon El Paso Museum of Art to celebrate Día de los Muertos. These alebrijes are spectacular creatures with their vibrant colors and markings, and no two are alike. Derived from Mexican folk art, all alebrijes don detail patterns of stripes, dots, geometric shapes, flowers, and flames. We find contemporary influence from Zen tango, geometric patterns, street art, and organic patterns from nature. These chimera-like creatures are composed of more than one animal. Some have wings, horns, tails, and a combination of faces from different species. All are both real and fantastical. Pedro Linares, a renowned indigenous Mexican artist, first created the vividly colorful papier mache sculptures inspired from a fever and juice vision when he was just 30 years old. Inspired by what Linares was creating, another artisan, Manuel Jimenez, began creating the colorful creatures out of copal wood with the shape of the branch usually determining the animal carved. Descendants of both men continue to carve and paint alebrijes to this day. Although alebrijes have evolved in popular culture, they are not specifically associated with Dia de los Muertos in Mexican culture. Dia de los Muertos originated in Mexico and is a three-day celebration of life and death, rich in rituals. Held every year from October 31st to November 2nd, all over Latin America and beyond, it is a distinct time for families to gather, to reflect, to remember departed family members, and to demonstrate love, honor, and respect. Celebrations include heartfelt altars, traditional dishes, colorful calaveras, skulls, calacas, skeletons, and parades with revelers donning sugar skull makeup, dapper suits, and fancy feather hats with long ruffled dresses, much like La Calavera Catrina. Alebrijes are also celebrated every year in late October during the Mexico City Alebrije Parade, honoring Mexican handcrafts and folk art. At the end of this parade, also known as La Noche de los Alebrijes, Night of the Alebrijes, the alebrijes are judged in a contest on the sidewalks of the historic center of Mexico City. Becoming much more commonly seen outside of Mexico City, these magical creatures are now in many places, including right here in the galleries at El Paso Museum of Art.